And joining me now is our newsmaker today. I'm joined by Mohammad Faisal, the Lakshwadeep NCP MP, who remember was disqualified uh, after being charged with attempted murder and then got uh, relief uh, from the Lok Sabha after he appealed to the Supreme Court. Appreciate your joining us uh, here, uh, Mr. Faisal. Your case has attracted so much of attention because Thank Rahul you. Gandhi has been disqualified under the same provisions, Section 8. 8.3 of the Representation of People's Act. Give us your sense. Do you believe that this law is the right one? Or do you believe this law is compromising the rights of members of parliament that you get disqualified even before you can go in appeal? Sir, do, there are two aspects of it as far as law is concerned. Uh, law is equal for everybody. That was the, uh, the uh, Lily Thomas case which... Uh, uh, gone into the de uh, serious aspect of uh, uh, giving equality to everyone. There is no special uh, consideration for the elected members like MP or MLA. That is fine when a member of parliament sitting MP or MLA gets uh, convicted by the court of law, uh, automatically he will get disqualified. Mm -hmm. Absolutely there is no issue on that because uh, law should be at par with everybody. Now, once that the Supreme Court struck down uh, based on the, uh, this uh, uh, Lily Thomas uh, uh, case, uh, but somehow uh, that loss which has happened to the public representative has to be reinstated somewhere. Uh, by that only, uh, the Supreme Court has said in the, uh, this uh, uh, Lok Prahari case in 2018, that once the apex court uh, 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 suspend the conviction of the lower court which uh, uh, you know uh, made the disqualification of the sitting MP shall uh, sh uh, I mean it, the, the correct word is the disqualification factor shall not operate that is the uh, you know uh, coverage of striking down of the people's representative act mm -hmm. 8 bar 3 and giving a, a, a chance for a fair uh, representation uh, to the sitting member of parliament in this case, uh, uh, what is the issue here is whether the government is using it like a tool to, you know, uh, to suppress or uh, to silence the oppositions. This is a question which is uh, now around resound, uh, resounding everywhere. Now, in my case, what happened was that uh, the Lok Sabha Secretariat or the government was so hurry in disqualifying me. In these two months, what did the Thanks. Lok Sabha Secretariat tell you? Why was the Lok Sabha Secretariat holding or refusing to reinstate you? You went to the Speaker's office several times. Why were they refusing to reinstate you? What did they say? Uh, Rajdeep, absolutely there is uh, nothing to say from their side. It was just a lame excuses they are putting before me. File is uh, submitted to the Speaker. Speaker is making a call. And... Uh, uh, this will happen today or happen by tomorrow or day after tomorrow uh, by Friday. This were the answers given to me and my floor leader Supriya Sule. She used to meet uh, all every day the speaker. But he never said that it is if, if really they wanted, I mean, is there, was there any problem? They could have been, I mean, given in writing to me that by this law or by this provision of the parliament mm -hmm. proceedings or by established mm -hmm. settled law, we are not in a position to take you back. But they didn't give anything in writing for the last two months. They were quietly sitting on the file and not taking any decision. This was a fact in, in my case. Uh, you are telling, let me get this very clear. You said you went continuously to the Lok Sabha Secretariat along with your leader Supriya Sule. The Speaker's office refused to give you any commitment either in writing as to when you would be reinstated until suddenly you go to the Supreme Court and on that very morning you are reinstated. Am I correct? That's perfect. Like I had to finally uh, knock the door of the Supreme Court to reinstate my membership and they uh, really knew, knew that the Supreme Court is going to give a favorable judgment for me because that is a settled law of the land. So there is nothing to say against my writ petition filed right. to the Supreme Court. They on the same immediately they, they signed my reinstatement. They could have done uh, the very next day of 25th of January 
27th, uh, uh, I have given a representation. Supriya mm -hmm. Sule have given a representation. Myself and Pawar Sahib met the speaker. At that point of time, nothing was stopping them to give me th uh, this uh, reinstatement order. And the present notification which they given very so, late, in that also very clearly they say in the second paragraph, they say that this is uh, my disqualification factor. The order is ceased to operate based on the 25th of January's order of the High Court. My simple question is, if this was the thing which they have to give, why do why they kept me waiting for this much days? Why they uh, you know made me run around the office of the secretariat and speaker? And my leaders so every day go and meeting them. So what was the reason for the, uh, this, such a delay? Does that suggest that the speaker was behaving in a manner that was against the law of the land? Are you saying that? Fazil, let's be very clear. Are you saying the Speaker's office was denying you your right as a Lok Sabha See, MP? Yeah, uh, Rajdeep, uh, it's very clear from the actions. The action speaks louder than voice. One way, uh, the Election Commission of India, which is a constitution office, that office stops uh, the proceedings of the by-election as soon as the High Court order come mm -hmm. on 25th of January. They submit a statement before the Supreme Court, which mm -hmm. I had go to the Supreme Court to stay the by-election proceedings, and they submit a statement before the Supreme Court that they will act according to the law. And uh, agreeing to that, mm -hmm. they come out with mm -hmm. a press note on 30th or 31st that the by-election, which is declared to the Lakshadweep, is stands cancelled or it is freezed. This is a constitutional body. They act according to the law. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, the parliamentary say, Lok Sabha Secretariat, which is also a constitutional office, and it, we, 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 we call it as a temple of democracy, the biggest uh, democratic uh, office or constitutional office. Why this law is not applicable mm -hmm. to them? The prime importance is to disqualify the MPs who is making some noise or some opposition sounds against the government what Rahul Gandhi have uh, made the speech, uh, what is my po position in Lakshadweep now, Lakshadweep is, uh, you know that uh, for the least past, you only have interviewed me, the turmoil which we had with the new administrator, and I was uh, mm -hmm. in front against these government policies and policies. So what exactly uh, they wanted, from their actions, uh, it speaks out that, it is very clear that they wanted to keep us outside, right. rather than taking inside with all uh, provisions which I am rightly qualified and no one can stop Very me with the present law that even that they were delaying, delaying. Yeah. Do you therefore believe Rahul Gandhi should immediately go and appeal until you went